welcome back. My name is Sunforia and we are once again playing Mage Quest. So as you can see we are in our little room um, and I've been pretty busy to be honest. Um, I've been very busy actually. So if we go out into the uh, castle, as you can see it looks a little bit different in here now. So as I said before I extended all of these so that they're five across rather than three. So these line up perfectly with them. Still kind of want to put something a little overhang or something. Uh, maybe use a fence or maybe something like that. Just to give it a bit more detail but this is just what it's like for now. I made our stairs which I'm super happy with. I think they look pretty cool. Um, I did want to make like bigger ones but because I have the back door um, wasn't really feasible me doing anything other than just flat straight stairs. And then these I've just blocked them in to kind of give us some dimensions for rooms. And this one's the same with obviously the door into this tower. Um, and then I left this bit open because I thought that looked pretty cool although I boarded this up. Don't know why. Who knows. And then obviously the door here to our little mine that we were doing last time. So that is in here. Um, oh, and the entrance. Look at this. So fancy. So fancy, smancy. Oh, that should be there. Well, that shouldn't be there. Who knows? But I'm going to just keep adding more detail to it as I go and collect more stuff. And we have some carpet that I seem to have punched. I forgot I have haste on. That makes everything a bit crazier. So if we go out here, um, I've not done too much out here, I guess. Um... Maybe not. <laughs> so um, I extended the path uh, to go to the little cave kind of mine that we found and were using before I built the strip mine. So we have like a nice way into it now and a quick way of getting out when zombies drop on our heads as we run out at night. But that's okay. Um, and then I thought after talking to you guys in the last episode and I was explaining that... Um, if I had time, well when I have time, not if, um, I'm going to do some of the other two um, mods, the witchery and the blood magic, kind of off camera, but not all of it, just the setting up of it, so that um, we don't have to kind of go through all of that. So that's basically what I've done here. I built ourselves a little witchery house, so it's kind of like in the hill, kind of like against the hill. That's why there's no roof or anything at the moment, because it's not very big. Um, but I just wanted to get something set up because we'd built the um, witch's cauldron and oven and we needed somewhere to put it. So I thought this would be the kind of best idea while I had some time is to just make this. And I also set out um, a space for the witch's circle. One, because I like doing this so it's easy to see. And when I take off, like when I use the chalk or have to redo the circle for different things, I've got the wood here to mark it out so I always know where the circles need to be. And I needed to make sure that I had a space big enough to put it. Um, I was torn between here and over there. But because that space, this space is kind of like a perfect size for it. That side is a little bit bigger. So I think I might put um, maybe the blood altar there. Um, and then maybe use the space down the side of the castle to actually do the other two mods that we're actually going to use for um, the questing side of this mage quest. So I'll take you inside. Um, it is ridiculously basic. Um, I move these guys in. Uh, that one can go next door to wood because it's obviously it doesn't um, need fire underneath it. This does. So that's why the roof is cobblestone. It looks a bit weird over there. Um, I may have to move this to like outside just so that it doesn't burn the house down. But we'll we'll see because it could always go like I'm not thinking far. I'm thinking like here build something for it to go in but we'll decide and then out here um i just got a load of each of the seeds i've still got some of them on me actually and planted them so we've got our mandrakes our belladonnas we've got water artichokes wolfsbane and snowbell and i think there's one more but we can only get that when we get to mutandis which is um maybe what we're going to do well it probably will be what we're going to do when we first get into our witchery so that is basically what I've been doing. Um, I'm kind of collecting everything for the castle because cobblestone collection takes so long, I'm telling you. So if we go into the house, while I was mining, I did find some of the things that we needed. So I got some coal, I got some redstone, so I was actually able to make some more pistons. So if we eat, please tell me I have some food somewhere. 
Oh, I don't want to eat carrots. No. Okay, we're going to have to breathe it. I haven't been out here for ages. Oh, I built a path out here as well and steps out to make it a little bit easier. Forgot about that. Yay, we have wheat. Well, we don't have a, a very good way of getting into it, but we have it. So we can have some bread, which is lovely. Did I get it? Oh, yes. This will do us for today. We'll take these seeds because we're going to need these for Britannia. Um, I'm kind of, it's really annoying me having to almost, but I had to build the um, witch's hut because it's been annoying me that I've not been able to just get on and do these mods because I am trying to hold off and wait for the quests for them to come up. Because like I've got the seeds there and I could go ahead and build some Britannia stuff, but, ooh, big bird. But I, we just can't because we really need to wait for the quest book to to give us quests on it. So this is why like this episode and the last like two I think or three have been storage just because I need to get them out of the way. So the next one we're going to do is better barrels because we didn't get any more for these um, drawers ones which I do need to make some more of because they're really cool. Um, that's why this space has been left to do all the storage as high as we need to go. Um, so we're going to do this one. So we need to make um, structural MK3. So if we look in here, MK, here we go. So it's fences and golden ingots. And then in one of these, I have these. Uh, I have one fence on me. Any more fences? No, I got some sticks though. So let's just quickly shimmy shammy this. Oh goodness. That was too many. Uh oh. Um like this and like this. Yeah. So we've made this one. And then the next one we need to make is the um MK4. So if I look at that one. Yeah, we're going to need diamond. I thought we would. And um, the other one that we were doing was... So we're going to do that one in a second. I think I might go mining for diamonds in one second. So we can get that one done. Um, but the next one we need to do is even better barrels. So this is the void upgrade, which I thought was really cool because it destroys any excess items going into the barrel, which for things like cobblestone, if we automate it, are going to be super helpful because we're not going to need like hundreds and hundreds of thousands and millions of cobblestone. But... For other stuff, I could see that being quite annoying, but let's see. So I'm pretty sure we need, yeah. So that's what I made the two pistons for. So we use the redstone to make them and we need a piece of obsidian. So if I quickly, where's the, here it is. There we go. So oh, it's night time. Let's quickly go and sleep. And then I will go mining in our little hole. Do I have a pickaxe? No. Where's my pickaxe? Do I not have one? I only have one piece of iron. Oh, there we go. I knew I had more iron. I just haven't smelted it yet. Okay, let's put these away. Oh. I need you to be flowers, please. Petals. Okay. Oh, they're already there. Fabulous. Garlic is witchery. You can go in there because there's nothing in there. Um. I've got all of you because there's just so much stuff. So we'll make an iron pickaxe and then we will go <coughs> mining. Oh, what's this? Oh, a void upgrade for storage drawers. That's pretty cool. I love this. This is cool. Stormcraft armor. So excited. So let's do this and this. Oh, nope. Thank you. Getting an upgrade. Did we have a? Did we not have an iron one before? I mustn't have. So I am going to hop down here and I will be right back when hopefully we find some diamonds or some thing else that we need. Oh, we need obsidian. So either we find diamonds or we find lava. Oh, I need a bucket. I'll go get a bucket. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I've just been back upstairs and deposited all the cobblestone that we got. Um, and we got some iron and some other bits, but there's still some more. See how it's full. There's still some redstone in 
here that we can get. I love this. Look how fast we mine with this. This is just nuts. Mwahaha. <coughs> so as I was mining down here, you'll see a big hole, but I'll talk to you. <laughs> I'll explain that in a second. It's terrible. Um, but I was mining down here and look what we found. Yay. So obviously I had to do the other two um, tunnels, which are ridiculously long. And luckily we have this haste. <laughs> I can't believe how fast our pickaxe is going. We have haste on, so um, it's not taking us too long, thankfully. It could have took a lot longer, but we found two. Um, yeah, I, j I just wanted to check, make sure that there's no more. Oh, there's some of this still. We always need those. So it's just these. So let's mine these up the first diamonds. Oh, there's another one. And there's another one! We've got four! That's awesome. Just what we needed, actually. Although we do actually need a few more. Um, but we'll have to come back and see. Because I was stood here, um, and I was listening to see if... Well, I was as we were mining down here, um, I thought I could hear like a bubbling sound like lava. And we need lava for obsidian. And I came down here... look what I found a lava so if I get my bucket oh, I'm just gonna put some torches up because obviously um, when this goes it's gonna get matter dark in here so um, let's pour a bucket over this and there we go I don't know how deep this is um, obviously it's not a lot we're using an iron pick, but we'll we'll see for now how fast this will do it with haste. It's probably going to do it like maybe the same as a diamond pick. We'll have to just see. Come on, Mr. Obsidian. I hope there's no lava underneath it. We do have the bucket, so it's not too bad. It's, it's <coughs> oh, it's bedrock underneath. I knew we were low, but wow. Okay, let's clear a bit more. Of our space world. Um, okay, so this seems to probably definitely be the bottom. Let's pull that on. Um, mine around here. Yeah, there's some more. There's bedrock. So let's put that on there. That's just going to stay there, isn't it? Um, I knew I should have kept some of this cobble. There we go, we can do it like that. Ta -da! So we can go ahead and mine. Oops, right, I want this for a start because we're going to need redstone. Let's try and get a oh, some sort of staircase out of here. You are joking me. this is amazing i love this cave it's like the first cave that we found that's really near the house there's just it's just amazing like the ore generation that is so cool three four four more diamonds um i don't really know what to do now <laughs> i'm in shock um let's let's go out here and we will build a crafting table if we have enough wood uh, yeah, I think that would be a good, good idea. So let's build a crafting table here. We need to set up some stuff down here anyway. And then let's make, seeing as we have so many diamonds, you know what? Let's just go crazy and make a diamond pick. And we've still got five left. That is so cool. So let's see. Oh, a very precarious staircase. Let's see how quickly this is going to do it because we have haste as well so hopefully this will be even quicker this isn't taking long at all but that's not what we want so I'm gonna carry on um, just breaking some of this and um, I need one piece for that thing and then I kind of want to get enough seeing as it seems like there's loads of lava here I may as well get enough for us to make a nether portal which will be awesome to be able to go to the nether already if it stops burning all my stuff stupid lava so yeah, so hopefully we can maybe even make another portal. So I will be back in a second. 
Okay guys, so we picked up enough and kind of cleared this place out, quite a lot of it. There's more lava behind there and there's a bit more underneath, but um, I'm going to leave that so that we can use it if we need any buckets of lava. So if we go back upstairs, we can go and sort out these. And then we need to find somewhere to put another portal. Um, not too sure where I want to put it. Kind of want to build something around it. Something like majestic. Maybe like a portal house or something. Hmm. I kind of want to build, I still want to build the town around the castle and like build a little village up around here. But it's night time. <gasps> I saw you! Get out! Get out of here! Horrible thing. Um, I still want to build a little town around here. So. Maybe what, like, the town hall or something could have the portal in it. That could be pretty cool. Um, but for now, I just need one piece and two of these. And now I can make a void upgrade. Awesome. So, rewards. Reward me. Oh, hopper upgrade. Hopper upgrades and hopper facades will let barrels eject items. So we need a hopper upgrade one and a hopper facade one. So we need basically more pistons and a hopper. And a hopper is iron and a chest. Okay. Um so let's bob some of this in here. Oh our diamonds! Oh we can make our diamond thing. Seems like such a waste of diamonds though. Four diamonds. Great. What do you get? Oh, two storage upgrades. Awesome. And then we can do this one, which is where it wants us to make a thomium one, a mana steel one, and a void metal one. Goodness. Okay, let's let's carry on with this. Um Oh, how many did we need for this? It was a diamond uh dolly. Oh goodness, three. Okay, we don't have enough of that. Let's put you in here and you in here and you really need to sort all this stuff out. And you. You can go in. Oh, and you. My precious. So we have a flint and we have you. So let's make a flint and steel while we're here. Because I'm pretty sure we don't have one. Oh, a ring of protection. Runic shielding. That'll come in really handy. Why are there bones in here? Mr. Bones, you'll have to go in there. So do this and we need a chest actually we're going to need quite a few of these because uh, we're going to need a few hoppers unfortunately okay so there's one do you have to surround it with oops no don't drop it that's expensive was it surrounding it with this maybe why does it keep doing that stop it no. Uh. Oh, just four. Hopper facade. Four of them? What do they do? They've only given me four. It's weird. Not that one. This one. So then we just have to make this hopper upgrade, which we are going to need more iron for. So I'm going to have to go back down into our little mine and go mining. But that's where I'm going to leave this episode for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, we're just carrying on doing the quests. I know at the moment... Oh, uh oh. At the moment it is a bit crazy because it is just um, a lot of uh, storage. But oh my goodness, what is that? Did you see that through the door? Can you see that? Should we take him on? Excuse me, sir. This is private land. Where's he gone? Hello? What are you doing? Go away. Living armour. Great. You like a suit of armour that's come to life. No, stay back. Stay back, sir. Just keep walking at me. This is fine. I hope he drops the sword. Oh. Oh. 
Hopefully nothing comes up behind us. Because I won't see it. Ooh. Oh, great. It's so damaged, there's literally no point. Thanks. I was hoping for the sword. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, like I just said, you know, I know some people are going to be like, oh, it's more storage. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, but that is where we're up to in the quest book. So, what I think I'm going to do um, for the next episode is probably do this one off, off camera just because you can see how to make it. Um, I'm just going to have to get more iron to be able to make the um, pistons and the hopper. So I'm going to do that off camera and then hopefully we can get moving on a bit. Um, we may even actually... <gasps> we can! So I could do these ones like off camera and just show you guys after. And we can start this one. <gasps> yes, we can do this next time. So next time we need to kill a witch. So we will continue next time and we are going to do the hedge mage quest um and i think that's like the beginning quest mage stuff and then we've got um other ones Ugh. so yeah we're gonna do hedge mage and i will do continue doing the storage stuff and getting us set up because that seems like the best idea so i hope you all enjoyed this episode um happy new year to everybody because by the time this goes out it will be 2016 which is pretty crazy um so looking forward to next year and everything that's going to be going on and i hope you're all having a magical day so i will see you all soon bye guys